hey guys to look for someone here again in today's video we are going to learn how to create a letterhead paper like this the link to download the resources we'll be using will be given in the description so you can check them out to follow suit let's get into the photoshop so here in photoshop i'll press create new and we're going to be using an a4 paper so i'll come over to print and i'll pick a4 you can use any size of your choice but widely used is the a4 paper so i'll press create next off is i would like to add guides to my design i'll come over to view and i'll press new guide and i would like to add a zero percent guide just like that i'll come over here again to view add an hundred percent guide also and i'll press ok next off is i'll come over to new guide and i'll be adding my last guide on the horizontal level this time i'm going to be adding 15 percent and i'll press ok after doing that the next thing i would like to do is to bring in my logo so i'll come over to my resource panel and i'll bring in this logo so i'll bring in it over here just like that and i'll press ok i'll right click on the layer and pick my blending options so after opening my blending options i will add the color overlay and i will this is the color i used is the color we use from the logo design from the last video you can check the video out the link will be here so i'll press ok and i'll press ok next off is i'll bring this over to this place and i'll press ctrl t on my keyboard to reduce it a little bit so after reducing it i'll press ok and i'll bring it here just like that i'll pick my rectangle tool and i'll draw a rectangle a diminished one just like that not so big and i'll press ok so after doing that i'll pick my move tool and i'll bring the rectangle here too just like that i'll pick my text tool i'm still going to be using the same font from the logo of last class so i'll create a new layer and i'll type to the request samuel o I'll press enter and type somewhere oh yeah just like that so I'll press ok I like to zoom in just like this and bring in my ruler to the end point of E just like that I'll select my text tool and select somewhere O and add increase the tracking there a little bit just like this so I would just like to add a tracking just like that and i'll press ok the use of this tracking is to have the o and the e end at the same point so everything starts t and s start at the same point and it ends at the same point i'll press ctrl o on my keyboard and move this here just like that so i can zoom in to the top layer i'll press ctrl t on my keyboard to transform it out a little bit just like that I'll press OK. I'll move it here. I'm done with this ruler so I can return it back. So I can still press Ctrl T to transform it out also a little bit more. Just like this. Press OK. I'll move it just like that. Select the three layers together and I would like to distribute it. So I'll distribute it so the sides are even just like that and I will align them together. So after aligning them, I can press Ctrl G on my keyboard. Rename the layer to top and press enter. Now press Ctrl O to zoom out. Press Ctrl A and center it just like that. So after I align it horizontally, I'll press Ctrl D just like that to deselect it. And next off is I like to raise the top logo up a little bit because everything we are doing for the top layer must not exceed this 15%. So I will add it up a little bit pick my rectangle tool next now and i can zoom in here to this point and just like that and next off i would like to draw a rectangle a diminished one also just like that so i'll pick from the edge point of this place and draw a little rectangle just like that so just a small rectangle will do for me for the first one so i'll draw the first rectangle just like that so i'll pick my move tool and next off is i'll press ctrl j on my keyboard and 
draw it out using my shift key and see when i see a line so now that i've seen the line i can press ok and use my arrow key to increase it 10 times so after doing that just like that i can double click on my layer thumbnail and change the color to yellow so this is the yellow color here i'll press ok i'll press ctrl t on my keyboard and i would like to drag this out a little bit so i'll just drag it out a little bit just like that so that it can be longer than the first one so after doing that i'll press ok and next up is i'll press ctrl g on my keyboard do the same process by dragging this out using my shift key and increasing it also press ctrl t on my keyboard then drag it to the end point of the design I'll press ok oh sorry so I'll press ctrl t and drag it out here yeah. just like that I'll press ok now we have a straight one so I can double click here and pick the same blue color that we used here just like that and press ok so basically the aim of this is to just have small big bigger and color changes also press control on my keyboard i can pick the three layers together of the rectangle press control d to group them I can rename them to rectangle just like that and i can decide to take them up a little bit just like that so pick my top logo now and align it with it to look nice just like that you can also press ctrl c on your keyboard if i feel i feel the rectangle is too big so i can press ctrl c on my keyboard this time to reduce the rectangle because it's just to add a little effect it shouldn't be too obvious just like that so just reduce it a little bit yes and i think yeah perfect now very perfect so next off is i would like to pick my rectangle tool again and this time we are going to be working on the bottom layer so just like that and i'll draw a rectangle here just like that since my foreground color is set to blue it's going to just make it blue for me just like that so i can decide to raise it up and yes i'm okay with it just like that but i can bring it down a little bit yes so next off is i'll bring in my location logo to the design i'll drag it and bring it in into photoshop i'll press ok i'll right click the layer pick my blending options and i'll add the color overlay of white to it this time so i'll add white ok i'll press ctrl c on my keyboard to reduce it in size just like that sorry so i'll reduce it now in size and i'll press ok so i'll bring my location logo here i still have to reduce it more in size press ctrl t and reduce it in size just like that i'll press ok so basically since it's just i'm designing a letter paper for practice and since we are using the name of this youtube channel so we can set the location to youtube but if we are designing for a brand you have to add the brand location there so i'll press ctrl a i set my color to white just like that so i'll press ok i use the same font consistency in your font and color for your logo and letterhead paper and other things that has to do with a single brand should be you should be consistent try to maintain consistency so i'll pick my layer my location layer and reduce it more a little bit i'll press ok and I'll pick my YouTube and the location and I'll center them vertically. So basically, after centering them, I'll press Ctrl G and I can name this location just like that. So next off is I'll bring in my call icon. So I'll bring in my call icon here yeah, just like that. I'll press OK and I'll right click also and change add my blending options and also this time color overlay of white since we've done it white and i'll press ok press ctrl t on my keyboard to reduce it just like that i'll press ok 
and I'll bring the call icon down here. Press Ctrl T also again to reduce it more. So now, and I can type also again. I'll press T on my keyboard and type. So this time we'll be typing. I just use a random number, just like that. So you can type the brand number here. Sorry. Just like that. So after doing that, you can just pick your move to and um, I'll press Ctrl T and reduce this a little bit. And raise it up and yes and just arrange the you can use 433 or 334 or 343 your arrangement for your text if you are using the nigerian number or basically arrange it to suit your taste for any other international code you are using so basically i'll just come here and i'll also align them or is horizontally sorry vertically i'll press ctrl g on my keyboard and this time i can name this call so yes after doing that i'll zoom out group the two of them together just like that and i'll press ctrl a on my keyboard and i will center it so we can have the two of them centered in the document press ctrl d to deselect and i'll press ctrl c on my keyboard to type a new text this time I'm going to be typing the motto of the brand. The motto of the of Tolopi Samuel is creating a learned future. So yeah, just like that, you can decide to add dots or something just to make it nice. Pick your move tool, press Ctrl A and center it just like that. Press Ctrl D. You can decide to reduce the size of the text if it looks too big for you. So I'll press Ctrl A, make sure it's centered just like that. I can move it up a little bit. And yeah, so next off is I would like to add another rectangle on top of this one here. So I'll pick my layer of the rectangle. I'll pick a rectangle, but this time we are going to be drawing a very diminished one. So I'll just draw a rectangle here. Just to this point yes just like that and um, we are going to change the color to yellow just like that so after doing that we can bring the rectangle down a little bit so I like it here just like that I'll press ctrl O sorry I'll press ctrl O zero on my keyboard and next off is I'll bring in the last thing we are going to add to the design so i'll bring in this logo you bring in the logo of the brand and you add it here so i'll press ok i'll right click go to my blending options and add a color overlay of blue this time so you can set the blue so you can see it press ok press ctrl t on my keyboard and increase it just like that so you can increase it to any size of your choice Basically, I'm just going to be increasing it to when I'm okay with it. I'll press OK. And this time, we are going to reduce the opacity of this logo. So it just gives it a normal feel, a little feel on the design. So I'll reduce it basically just like that. So um, something around 2015 is okay. So I'll leave it to 20% just like that. With this, we've been able to create a letterhead paper for your brand. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Remember, subscription is free. I'll see you in the next tutorial. It's totally here and bye.